everybody, Ed here on the harmonica barge. Nice to see you all again. I've been messing around with some, it's kind of like a jug band sort of lick. Really a groove. I mean, there's a lick in it. There's a groove. I've been listening to a lot of old harmonica from the 20s and 30s. And some of that stuff is fantastic. You know, there's a lot of solo harmonica with vocals and quite, it's very, very creative. And to me, sounds really, really fresh, even though it's a lot of it's almost a hundred years old. You know, it's really, really cool. And a lot of that stuff's actually in first position. So you'd be playing in the key of the harmonica. Um, for today, I've got an A harmonica. Because the C kind of sounds a little bit squeaky up the high end. So I'm using my A harmonica for today. And um, we're going to find hole seven, first of all. Same as hole one. Same as hole four. Same as hole seven. All the notes of A. I'm going to try getting this groove going. Now I'm doing a tong slap there on the seven. If you don't tong block, probably not the best time to start on this particular thing. I mean, you could do a sort of pucker and do like a rough chord, like a Bob Dylan-y thing. It's going to have a very different vibe, but why not give it a go? Or you could do it with single notes. This is essentially the groove. On the seven blow, coming back down to the six draw, one on the six blow and one on the seven blow again. Nothing complicated, and you know, the thing with grooves is a lot of the time they sound better if they're not too complicated. This came from really playing a D, I was playing a D harmonica in second position, and just getting a groove going. like to start things in blues with a groove. So taking that from the D harmonica, which would be second position on the D harmonica, don't worry if you don't understand that for now, but we're going back to the, so we're on the A harmonica, and the same thing on the D harmonica would be. So I'm playing the seven, and doing that nice slap, you could do that as an octave on the seven as well, with four and seven. And then for the sixth draw, I'm just going to play a slap single on the six. Because you don't have an octave available on the sixth draw. You could do a four hole split on the draw. Sounds okay. So I'm going slap in the six. Then playing an octave blow on the six. Then finishing with two octaves on the seven. Just put a bit of an extra thing in just to tweak it. But the main groove is this seven, 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 six, six, seven, seven. Now, whether you choose to put octave on, octaves on those or slaps, you've got the option. I quite like both. Here's with the slaps. Here's with the octaves except I'm slapping the sixth drawer only there. Octave. And then once you've got, you know, like any of these things, I think the thing about groove harmonica playing is you're starting with a foundation of something which is basic, and then you're starting to tweak it and build on top of there. I mean, I've just made this up. I was, I've been listening to a lot of jug bandy stuff, and. I, I sort of copied a few licks, but I just wanted to try and come up with some in that, you know, this might turn into a song. Uh, I don't know. I'm 
I'm adding some slaps in there. I'm sort of going ba 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 da 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 da. That's not that easy to do, but. And then I'm putting a sneaky little eight blow bend in there. You know, if you're not, if you're new to blow bending. I'd say just go on the eight and give it a try. You're sort of doing what you do on the draw bends, but on a blow note. Or just play an eight for now if you don't blow bend. I'll make another video on blow bend in another time. I don't want to get into that technique wise today. So it's a. And I use this little lick a lot in first position. It's hitting the eight blow with a bend or not. Coming back to seven blow and six draw, and then back to your groove. And a really nice way to organize grooves and licks is to do a very, very simple idea but effective is putting the lick in every other one. So I do a groove. As a groove, but the next time I do it, oh, so I'm trying to do the blow bend tongue blocked. Oh, that's a work in progress, working on it. But anyway, I'm sort of switch cheating and switching back to pocket for the blow bend, but. So be it. And hey, now we've got the groove going, why not experiment and try putting your own licks in that space? But So you've only got a beat to do it. So that's I'm doing a little triplet thing there. Ba 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 ba. Uh, could go. Just working around trying to make up another one that's got a triplet. Um, I'm doing an eight blow there. I'm going eight blow, nine blow, eight blow, and back on the bend. So there's a variation on the lick. Let's try that one again. Once you've got a lick, start playing about with it, maybe using the tongue. Yeah, okay, I'm going to see where I can take that. Maybe that will become something. I don't know. Try it out. Uh, have some fun with it and let me know how you get on. Thanks very much. Ed here at the Harmonica Barge. Be back with another video very soon. Thanks, bye.